From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, the heart-pounding excitement is back, bucking by the river. Join Reading Rodeo May 15th through the 18th for four unforgettable nights of heart-pounding action with family fun and the unrivaled thrill of the rodeo. You can purchase your tickets today at ReadingRodeo.com or if you want to go more old school, you can of course call the box office at 530-241-8559. Alright, let's take a look at your weather headlines and yeah, we got a cool and unsettled weather pattern the rest of the week. Temperatures continue to drop. You know, just when you thought it was getting cooler today, it's going to be even cooler by tomorrow. Some of that cooler air begins to settle in. But more chances for showers, more chances for thunderstorms, not just for the mountains, but even the valley could see some thunderstorm activity as well. But it does look dry. Now, for those of you who are involved in the, uh, you know, cool April nights, we have got the cruise coming up on Friday, and not to mention the main event on Saturday. And it looks, lo looks like both of those events are going to be dry. We'll see that here in future cast in here just a second. Let's take a look at your neighborhood forecast at a glance. This is for tomorrow. Yeah, everyone, everyone is calling for a chance for showers. And could we see thunderstorms? Not out of the question. Even the valley could see some thunderstorm activity. But look at those highs, only getting in the upper 60s for the valley. Remember the 80s we saw, you know, a few days ago? Well, that's the thing of the past, at least for now. Those temperatures are dropping. All right, cool April nights events here for your Thursday. It's going to start off with R&R &R Auto and Truck Repair at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then, of course, you got WCP Solutions from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Hen House, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Simpson University, 4 to 7 p.m. And Crown Motors and the Reading Chamber of Commerce Mixer. Of course, that's from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Of course, maybe that's an event you want to go check out. But keep in mind... Yeah, there could be some showers, maybe even some thunderstorms here for many of those events, especially through the day. Even as we go into the evening hours, unfortunately, there might be a little bit of rain here. All right, do want to remind you that the cool April Nights Cruise, as I mentioned, is on Friday. Now, if you're one of those people who just doesn't like to deal with crowds or you just can't make it in general, no need to worry. I've got you covered. Watch the cool April Nights crew live on Weather NorCal between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. Now you can watch from all of the NorCal platforms. That includes watching from your big screen TV. Sit back, have some beverages and some food and snacks. Watch on your Amazon Fire TV. Watch on your Roku. Watch on your smart TV that has YouTube. And just go ahead and click on the Weather NorCal channel and you can see the live stream from there starting at 6.30. And if you're out and about, but you want to check it out on your phone, you can from your Android or your iOS device from the free Weather NorCal app. And of course, uh, you can watch that just by tapping the live 24-hour streaming channel. Or if you want to watch it on Facebook or X or even YouTube, you can do that as well. I want to thank Banner Realty on Hilltop Drive for giving me access to their Wi-Fi because we'll have a nice, fast, reliable stream that will go out to you for one hour between 6.30 and 7.30. Be sure to check that out. All right, let's take a look at Futurecast. This is what it looks like at 8 o'clock tonight. You know, some of the thunderstorms that we're seeing here off later this afternoon that we did see are going to kind of scroll on to the south and to the east here. So the valley could be looking at maybe a stray shower, not to mention even off to the east. Now that will all pretty much die out late tonight and early tomorrow morning. But the next cold front approaches. It's weak. And by the time it moves over us, it'll weaken significantly. But it is going to bring some showers for the coast tomorrow morning. By tomorrow around noon, a little afternoon, we're looking at sh some showers. Now at this point, could we see a straight thunderstorm? It's not out of the question, but I think most of the thunderstorms will be confined in the higher elevations. Take a look at 3 p.m. Again, you see around Red Bluff, Chico, even Redding, could be looking at some showers here and some light showers along the coast and more off to the east as well. But you see how it's not very widespread. It's gonna be isolated in nature. So by 6 p.m. Thursday, we actually may be looking at drier conditions, but maybe some more showers and possible thunderstorms in the eastern mountains. Meanwhile, a few light showers along the coast. Then as we go into the overnight hours, it dries out again, at least for the valley. And then we go into Friday morning. 
Here's the next round coming in. Dry for the valley, mainly dry eastward. We do have a few showers off to the north and to the west. Let's take you into Friday around noon. Now we're seeing those thunderstorms again popping up in the mountains, but we could also see some thunderstorm activity here for parts of the valley as well. Now, of course, with the crews coming in Friday evening, you look at something like this, you're like, oh my goodness, it's not going to be good for the crews. But check this out. We take it to 3 p.m. first of all. There you can see the showers and thunderstorms still kind of kicking in here. And again, the valley could see an isolated thunderstorm even at 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon. But look what's happening. You see how we're starting to see drier conditions here to the west, but still the wet weather here off to the east. All right, we're going to take you now to about 6 p.m. Look where the activity is. It's to the east, to the west of that is dry, including the valley. The valley is looking dry 6 p.m. Friday, around time of the cool April night's cruise. West of that is looking dry as well. And then by Friday night, it's all gone. And as we go into Saturday, it'll all be gone as well. And we've got dry conditions for your Saturday. Let's take a look at that on our long range future cast. There it is, Saturday, it's dry but some clouds, especially coming in later in the day. Sunday is also looking dry. Of course, you know the big events on Saturday, but they also have events on Sunday as well. And it looks like it will be dry for that. Then we go into your Monday looking dry, but here's the thing. There's another storm system coming in from the Gulf of Alaska next Tuesday. You see how it's swinging down Wednesday, Thursday of next week? This is gonna keep our temperatures on the cooler side for this time of the year and give us a chance for some more showers by the middle to the latter part of next week. I mean, things just getting more and more interesting this year, aren't they? You take a look at the forecast winds. Yeah, they're a little gusty here. Not that bad, though. Fairly calm winds Thursday morning, but by Thursday afternoon, yeah, those winds picking up from the west, northwest, especially stronger winds off towards the east. Now, there are some strong winds along the coast here coming in from the south, southwest. All right, Friday morning, yeah, the winds subside a little bit here. Friday afternoon, the winds begin to pick up again. In fact, some pretty gusty winds for the valley coming in from the northwest. Gusty winds for some of us in the eastern mountains. Not as bad for the coast, but now instead of that south wind that we're going to see on Thursday, more of that north wind for Friday afternoon. So kind of that shift in those winds. We look at the wave heights. There you can see on Thursday, you see how those wave heights are starting to increase. Now that's out to sea, so not that bad. I just think we'll see some showers here over the ocean on Thursday. Now we take you into your Friday. Those wave heights will continue to increase. Now, most likely we may just be able to stay below that uh, small correct advisor criteria, but of course, only time will tell. Here's a marine forecast for your Thursday. Again, no alerts, just those showers in the forecast, those winds from the south at about five to 10 knots. All right, here's what it looks like here for tonight. We do have those temperatures in the mid 50s for most of us in the valley, a little bit cooler for places like Willows, about 51. Look for those mainly 40s, although some of those higher elevations in the upper 30s, and there you can see in the mid 40s out along the coast. Let's take a look at your, your neighborhood forecast for Trinity County. Temperature is upper 50s, low 60s. It's cooling off. So Thursday, tomorrow, showers, maybe some isolated thunderstorms. I think better chances for thunderstorms on Friday. Dry for the weekend. Dry for Monday, Tuesday. Then by around Wednesday, Thursday of next week, you've got a chance for some more showers. Here's your North Coast neighborhood forecast. Central and Southern Butte County, excuse me, Humboldt County, 55 degrees for Blue Lake, 59 degrees for Garberville, and 57 degrees out in Alder Point. Uh, now up to the north for Del Norte and Northern Humboldt County. 54 in Aura, 53 degrees for Orleans. Showers also on Friday. Maybe a chance on Saturday, but by the way, Saturday is not going to be all that significant. And then another chance for showers coming in by next Wednesday into Thursday. All right, here's your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast for your Thursday. Showers, maybe a better chance for thunderstorms on Friday. By the way, we could see thunderstorms tomorrow, right? But I think a better chance on Friday, a slight chance. Again, Saturday's system is very, very weak. So don't be surprised to see a sprinkle, but for the most part, it's dry on Saturday this weekend, really. Monday, Tuesday is dry, and then next Wednesday, you've got that chance for those showers. And that's really the same situation for Modoc County as well. Otherwise, we're looking at temperatures on the cool side for your Thursday, only reaching somewhere in the low, maybe some mid-50s out there. Now, the eastern mountains, I've got you dry for Wednesday. I think it'll probably hold off until Thursday of next week. But bottom line, showers, possible thunderstorms tomorrow, better chances for thunderstorms Friday, dry for the weekend and going into early next week. And your Valley Neighborhood Forecast brought to you by NorCal Tractor. Temperatures, look at this, we're struggling to get out of the 60s if at all. We'll call for highs only around 68 degrees for Hamilton City, 66 for Elk Creek, Corning also a high of 66. 
We take you up north, look at Reading, 67 degrees for that high, 64 degrees in Lakehead, 61 for Whiskey Town, uh, and there you can see Red Bluff, a high of about 67 degrees. It's dry for the weekend and dry through at least Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, although by Wednesday, Thursday, that's kind of the borderline of when we may see, start to see those showers. But bottom line, cool with a chance for showers. By the way, nothing heavy. And by the way, too, it says showers there. But don't be surprised if over the next couple of days we do see an isolated thunderstorm for parts of the valley Thursday and Friday. And then on Saturday, Sunday, it's drying out. It's warming up back in the low to mid 70s. But we should really start to see that bigger cool down again as we go toward the end of next week.